Disneyland averages about 50,000 visitors um, a day. And for California Adventure, it seems to be about 27,000. And so instead of parking my car at Disneyland, I use Disneyland's drop-off location. And my, vi my video here is just requesting that it's been, you know, 50 or 60 something years. I'm not sure how old this drop-off center is at 1567 Harbor Boulevard, but you can look over here. This drop-off center is like this size. It's smaller than a, what do you call it? School parking drop-off location. You know, as a school, if you've ever had kids and you've had to drop your kids off at school, you know, this is maybe smaller. So I'm just trying to put in things in comparison. You have two, four, six, maybe seven spots on each side. So 14 spots to support 50,000 people coming to Disneyland and 27,000 people coming to uh, California Adventures. So Disneyland, I, I, I really do hope that one day you'll expand the drop off, it drop off location just because it's mathematically it doesn't seem to support the amount of visitors you have, and it's stressful coming into here and trying to pick up or drop off people. I guess I could use Downtown Disney, but. Um, that's stressful too just because it's so crowded and so hopefully you guys can find a solution I guess downtown Disney is the solution but then you'd have to walk all the way from downtown Disney to Disneyland short video again Disneyland parking costs about $30